Hi, I'm Kevin Michalowski, editor of Concealed Carry Magazine. In this edition of Into the Fray, we'll talk about the proper use of the shoulder holster. Shoulder holsters work wonderfully well for people who do a lot of sitting, especially a lot of driving, but they have to be worn properly. They have to be worn high up underneath your armpit to really work effectively. And we'll talk about how to draw from that holster right now. We've got the handy dandy Glock 19 here. It's cleared, safe, ready to roll. We'll talk about using this shoulder holster. Shoulder holster, I find very comfortable, especially for when I'm sitting, but on the draw, you're pulling this pistol out and you're making a big arc with it. So muzzle management is very important. And trigger finger discipline is always very important. We want to make sure we keep that finger off the trigger. Drawing from your shoulder holster, get your off hand up and out of the way. We call this the rhino horn or, or the elbow up, something like that. Get that elbow up out of the way and then draw. Notice my trigger finger is out away from the trigger. Pull out, get on target and come in. For reholstering with the shoulder holster, reach down here with this hand and grab the holster. Now you might be muzzling your hand a little bit as you go in here, but keep your finger off the trigger, reinsert that pistol into the holster, and then you're ready to go. Now at the beginning, I talked about the importance of keeping that shoulder holster up underneath the arm. That's the best place to put it because one, you keep control of it with your upper arms, it doesn't flop around as much, and everything is right where you need it to be when you're grabbing for this gun. If you're driving in a car and you need to defend yourself against a carjacking, a shoulder holster is the ultimate quick draw rig for you sitting in that car. You're just up here, your elbow's out of the way, and the bad guy takes the bullets. Carrying a shoulder holster obviously requires some sort of cover garment, either a sport coat or a jacket or something over the top to keep it covered. Take the extra time that you need to make sure that everything is adjusted properly it's not like putting on an inside the waistband or an outside the waistband holster where you just strap it on your hip. Make sure that all of the buckles and everything are set to where you want them and then tape things in place. I'm wearing the Evo shoulder holster from the folks over at Urban Carry because I really like the way they put it together with the clips and the straps and everything is ultimately adjustable. There's not one inch holes or anything like that that I have to define. I can just slide it to where I want it and then I'll tape everything down in place when I got it set or if I'm really committed to it, I'll cut off the extra leather and tape that down in place. Remember, the key point for carrying a shoulder holster is to keep that gun high up into the armpit. And when you draw that gun, get your off hand and your arm up out of the way so that you're not muzzling anything else. Always pay attention to your surroundings, not just when you're carrying with a shoulder holster, and always maintain good muzzle management and trigger finger discipline. I'm Kevin Michalowski, editor of Concealed Carry Magazine. If you like these videos, please share them with all your friends and remember to subscribe to this page. I'll give you more great information every week.